is this real life? I would tell my freshman self, get out there and uh, party up a little bit, not take life so seriously. Have as much fun as you can. Take it a lot slower, absorb it all, you know, everything around you. Study. Don't sweat the small stuff. Breathe. Get out of the library <laughs> and go um, hang out. I would tell her to get very involved very quickly and to just jump in. Be patient. Don't worry about it. You're not that cool. Sleep. I would tell my freshman self one and not bring so many clothes. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Relax and enjoy the moments. You're gonna trip, you're gonna fall, but you have a great group of friends, you have a great community around you, and you're gonna you're gonna come out on top. We've kind of survived the swine flu. I actually got the swine flu. I had H1N1. One of my other roommates actually got it too. They told me, you know what, you're going to have to either leave campus, go to CentOS Center and stay there. Um, whatever you choose to do, you cannot be near your roommates, you cannot be near people. And this is my second week of college, so I'm freaking out. I call my mom, I'm like, Mom, I have to come home. She's like, Carly, it's fine. Like, just freshman year, you're doing great. I'm like, no, Mom, I have the swine flu. They like, don't want me to be here. <laughs> I'll remember the snowball fight from 2010. It was epic. Uh, I think the snowball fight will be something I will forever and always remember. I'd say living in, living in Coolman by freshman year. We used to do like eight minute abs in the hallway and we would go into the chapel in Coolman and st we set up a tent one time and we were watching scary movies and then didn't sleep for weeks. My freshman year I remember um, I was front row painted up blue and my mom sent me a text message in the middle of the game and it said something into the sort of, are you painted blue on national television? And uh, I remember texting her back and go, I might be. This place is, was a completely different university my fresh, in 2009. I was one of the last people to have a meeting in the Dorothy Day house, the actual house. Like I'll still remember like, walking into the Dorothy Day house and walking into the Loyola house, um, walking into the old Hoff cafeteria, um, those sort of feelings of the old campus. A few weeks later the house was gone, they were doing construction, you know, campus changed drastically. All of a sudden the Connaught and Learning Commons are here and we have, you know, these great chairs, these great computers, printers, everything like that. I'd say that my last four years have been a complete rush. Um, going from one side to another, I've completely sort of changed um, who I am as a person. Um, how I think, how I act, what I do. Um, like if I met who I was 
freshman year, I don't know if I would necessarily recognize um, that Bobby of freshman year. It has been such an incredible time these past four years. I am going to miss this place. Um, just having the education that I've gotten here, um, meeting the friends that I have, having the relationships with faculty and staff that I do, they really take a personal interest in you. And I don't think I would get that anywhere else. And I think that's what Xavier does. Um, they provide an experience that you won't get anywhere else. It's crazy that it's coming to an end, but um, it's been an incredible experience, uh, both in and out of the classroom. The people that I've met, um, the experiences that I had are, I mean, second to none and carry them with me the rest of my life.